Good morning, guys. Today I'm going to show you how to draw some uh, Seuss-like characters. Uh, you can draw one, you can draw two, you can draw a whole bunch if you'd like. It's totally up to you. There is a handout in the uh, classroom in the assignment, and you can use that to help you get started. I'm going to give you a few tips, and we'll draw a couple here together so you can kind of see how um, how I've started it. So I'm going to draw two here, and my best bit of advice is to start with the head. And specifically, we'll start with the eyes. Most Seuss eyes are round or oval shaped. You could actually even make them um, winking or their eyes closed if you'd like. And then I'm gonna add a nose. And the nose for the Seuss characters are, is often a flattened, um, flattened kind of oval. And you can make them big, you can make them small, you can make it however you'd like. Um, this one I'm gonna put a big beard on, kind of like the Lorax. It's a funny looking beard, Mrs. Miller. And I'm gonna give him a head shape. And actually I might give him a smaller head shape and some fluffy eyebrows. And this one I'm gonna put a big smile on. Lots of the Seuss characters' smiles are just lines. Um, but I'm gonna give this one a little open, a little open mouth. Um, I'm also gonna give it some eyebrows. And then I'm gonna create the shape. And you can create the sh um, sh face, shape of the face any way you'd like. This is kind of what makes it interesting. I'm gonna put his neck on here too is that all of them will be a little bit different and a little chin line. And this guy's gonna have some wild and crazy hair, I think. Okay, totally up to you. You can make it whatever you want. Once you've got your head shape and you're happy with your head shape, you're um, gonna add a body. And there's all kinds of uh, Seuss body shapes. You can use some of those or you can kind of go with whatever you'd like. I'm gonna make this one a little bit oval. Okay, it's gonna tuck down underneath his uh, big beard. And um, I'm not gonna make it too um, furry or anything because he's got a big beard, but I might put some lines um, in, his, in his body shape there. And um, this guy, let's give him Let's give him some rings here on his neck. We'll make some bigger ones. Maybe a wobbly, wavy collar. And maybe a round, furry body. Okay. Once you've got your body, you're gonna work on feet, legs, and uh, feet and legs and arms. So you can have long legs, you can have short legs. I'm gonna make this guy have long legs and a few toes. Skinny, long, skinny legs. Okay. This one might have shorter legs because his body's a bit longer. So let's give him some short legs. And we're gonna add some arms. And there's all kinds of um, suggestions in the, um, in the handouts. You can use them. You can use your own ideas. It's totally up to you. I'm gonna put the arm coming out of his body and if I do that I'm going to erase that body line so it doesn't look funny and I'm going to give him a, a glove and this arm's going to be back behind the body okay this guy might just have little tiny arms Again, if I'm coming in front of the body, I'm going to erase my body line. Erase my body line. 
I might decide now I'm looking at him, I'm thinking he might need some sort of hat. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a, uh, add a hat onto him. And when you're happy with the way that your characters look, you can give them a name um, and then you can um, color them any way you'd like. Dr. Seuss often has bright, bold colors. So you can choose um, whatever you want. You can do your background or you can leave it white. Um, it's totally up to you. Can't wait to see those characters. Have fun.